It's me, Mario! Hello everyone, this is Super Mario 9080. Hello! And I'm doing a let's play of Super Mario 64 hacks. And this is a hack called Super Mario 74 by Luke Melord. Now, this hack rivals Wacky Worlds and, well, not the Missing Stars because the Missing Stars we all know is like the best hack ever made as in uh, SM64. So anyways, let's get started. So yeah, it starts up normal. But the dialogue changed and there's like a lot of sarcastic... There's like a lot of sarcastic humor in this uh, hack. Uh, the hackers, the creators like trying to be funny and you can all see that. Just, just watch. So yeah, I'll be covering all the stars. Hopefully all the stars because in my first uh, test run I I only got 39 stars, and I'm missing something, so let's try, I'm gonna try and, and, uh, make sure not to skip anything. But I think I realized I missed the secret star. You just came out of the sewer system. Ew, you smell bad. Anyways, this is a game. Well, partly. This is the first demo, so everything past the entrance hall isn't changed yet. By a hack by Luke, my lord. So yeah, now you guys are wondering, Mario's run animation is different. Well, that's because I have a game track code. It's a, it's a useless game track code, but I actually like it because I thought it's much better than Mario's standard running animation. Princess Toadstool Castle is just ahead. Why am I telling you this? I guess you aren't blind. So here's actually some useful information for you. Although you may have found all the original stars, I think everything will be the same. Some areas may have more stars than you expected. Now this means, well, every level changed except the Bowser level. Bowser level you can get like stars. I'm not sure in the original you get, you get like more than one star, but I think you do. But anyways, let's move on. And I always fail to skip this, but there you go. Good morning, me. My name is Annoying Lakitu, and I'm here to interrupt you from playing this game. Jerk. <laughs> I actually like that dialogue, because it's pretty funny when I first played through it. Mwahaha, <laughs> change all the looks, you don't be able to Peach. Again. And again. So anyways, let's... Here it is, the same castle like always in the first game, but you ought to know that. These levels are different. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight levels that are that are in this hack. And please be noticed that this is only a demo. This is demo one. This is not the full game. So I'm just so whenever a demo comes out, like a demo two, or whenever the full game comes out, I will do all of them except the stars I've already covered. So you won't have to watch me. Um, play through the stars again, so anyways, let's talk to the toad, since everything is different. Hey there, I'm Toad. Please don't run away. I know that you are pretty useless all the time, but now we are trying our best. It's not much, but her, I mean, you're our hero. Please save the princess. She won't pay us as long as she's kidnapped. And the kids want these new gaming systems for Christmas, and that's so expensive, you know? What I'm trying to say is I need money, so if you find money in a level, I'll give you a star. Let's say one star per 100 coins. I have 15 stars. Good luck. Now, the first time I played this, I thought he meant a thousand coins. I mean, like, what? A thousand coins? Are you serious? How am I supposed to do that? But I just found out that that's just a coin symbol, and that confused me sometimes. I wonder if the dialogue changed here, so let's read. Nah, that's probably same as in the game. Created and change it. Oh, anyways, let's move on to our first level. Wall Jimmy Lesson Dice Fortress. This is a custom map. If you don't know how to make this, then search on YouTube. Or when in doubt, go to Google. So yeah, the level design is pretty standard. I really liked the way it designed pretty well. 
and there's a lot to explore. There's, you have the cave here, you have up there, you have the tower, you have the lake. Pretty, it's pretty, well, it's platforming, so what do you expect? So, I, I can assure you that this definitely is Machinima capable. So if you want to make Machinima, then this probably might be the level for you. So if you want to make Machinima, yeah, level for you. Because I find this actually pretty helpful if you want to make Machinima. And one thing that bugs me about this hack is the camera angles. The camera angles are ridiculous. They're like a pain. I mean, like I can't get my camera to aim straight. And even though I tell I tell it to to look where Mario's going, but it just does not. See, look, the camera angle is awkward. So, anyways, we're doing the um, wand jumping lesson. So, it's all good to see is this one. Now, the le the stars are gonna show you, demonstrate to you. It's not gonna be perfect because I'll just be picking up random stars along the way. So, there you go. Our first star. Oh, that's a, that was a fail one. Anyways, first star. And there you go. Our first star. Now let's. Now I have a safe state here, so he found one star. One star. Now please don't feel special. You achieved pretty much nothing at all. Now I, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna save because it'll mess up my my email with my ROM. So. I'm gonna use save states from now on, and whenever I come across a level that's difficult, which there are like two or three levels I found difficult, then I'll use save states. Or I'll just cut it out so you guys would not see me die all the time. So, conquer the pillars. Oops. Anyways, let's see here. Now, if you just go to this cave here and clear this slope, get on the boxes. Camera, obey me. What the? What the? Are you serious? Oh, I hate the camera angles in this. And I say that like a billion times. I don't care. Come on. Now, don't blow up the box. Thank you. Finally, get up there. I mean, really, I haven't. I haven't even failed that until now. Now, one thing is that if you have a keyboard and if you're playing this. This is probably going to be very, very difficult for you. If you have a gamepad or a joystick or whatever, or an Xbox 360 or PS3, I don't care what controller you have, as long as you have a gamepad, then you're fine. Because if you have a keyboard, this is an absolute pain for you, and it's pro you're probably not going to like it. So, gamepad is easier. So use a gamepad. If you don't, then you'll suffer as much as other keyboard users have. Conquer the pillars. Second star. Let's go back in. Now, the third star here, you you can't get this yet. You need like eight stars to get it. Well you'll see what I mean, but at this point you can't get it now because well you haven't have a wing cap yet. So what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna find uh, the red coins. Now, during the red, finding the red coins, I'm going to, I'm going to collect a hundred uh, coins, like Toad says. So yeah, I'll do that just now. Just punch that Goomba. I said Goomba, Goomba. This is Paper Mario. Goomba, Goomama, or Goomba? I'm not sure. If you play Paper Mario, then. Well, you know what I'm talking about, Goomba and Goombario, which is Goomba and Mario combined together to make Mario, Goombario, yeah. So yeah. Let's say everyone knows about from SM64. This, right here. Right here. See? That's a glitch that everyone knows about. But if you press the B button, then you're not gonna get, then you're gonna get stuck there for a long time until so you like reset your game or use the save state. And here, this isn't even textured. 
not even textured at all. Well, this is just hard. I don't even know what to say. And here we got a hundred coins. Hit that star. Don't worry, it won't execute you out. It'll just say, do you want to save? No, no thank you. Three stars, you unlock more doors and blah blah blah. I guess you know this stuff, don't you? Yes, yes I do, because I played the original. And more star. <laughs> That's hilarious. And do I have to click more red coins, or is it... Oh, cool, one up. I don't care, I'm just gonna go for this one up. I don't care about the coins. Yeah. Anyways, let's get our star. Speed winning tactics. There you go. We got four stars, and yep, yippity doo. And I think we're about out of time, so stay tuned until we find more stars at Dice Fortress. And see you all next time. This is Carol, and later.